Norris. What an absolute crack in first sector by him. Only a tenth of the best first sector time. Hulkenberg goes to 16th and Grosjean can't get oh. out of Q1. And that is it's a, a very big bang into the walls indeed. And that will bring out the red flag. It's down at the tightest part, bottom of the castle section. This is what happened to Robert Kubica. Well, he was very committed to the inside curve there. I know they've all been jumping it, but uh, he was almost touching the wall on the inside, wasn't he? Joining Hulkenberg and out here, Robert Kubica, whose crash brought out the red flag, George Russell, Roman Grosjean and Lance Stroll. And it's another Ferrari, big Ferrari. crash. It is Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari. I am stupid. I am stupid. I switch off everything. We just see here, is he going to touch the inside? He oh, he's blocked the front. Too much speed approaching the corner. Yeah, and he didn't bail out, did he? Oh, Charles Leclerc, you have to feel for the young man, 21 years oh. of age. Giovinazzi makes it into the top 10. Raikkonen was already there, stays seventh. Norris goes into the top 10. Giovinazzi right on the cusp at the moment. Next across the line, Danny Kvyat. He's in ninth place. And we look back now to Daniel Ricciardo still going for it on the track. Oh, Ricciardo no. pitted. Ricciardo pitted at the end of his lap. His teammate Valtteri Bottas will be the first of the Mercedes cars to cross the line. And Bottas will come up to it now and go faster than Max Verstappen by nearly three tenths of a second. Hamilton next across the line. He takes provisional pole by half a second from his teammate. But can Sebastian Vettel confirm what everyone thinks that Ferrari have the power advantage down the long straight here? Vettel will be next across the line. It's going to be tight. He's going to just miss out four tenths of a second. The difference between Hamilton and Vettel. Red Bull with Max Verstappen keeping going here. Another lap to warm up the tyres, recharge all the uh, energy recovery systems, cool down what they need to cool down. Has it worked for Max Verstappen? DRS wide open. As at 10 minutes to 7 o'clock at night, he crosses the line to go onto the front row. He ended up about three and a half tenths behind Lewis Hamilton. Vettel getting the car slowed down nicely in Only that. Only a tenth in it. He's going to use all he can. He got a good exit out of turn 16. Now this is where the Ferrari is at its strongest, arguably, around this track. Will it be enough? And Bottas, only six hundredths in it. And Hamilton, after a brilliant middle sector. Back in the game. Back in the game again. It's Baku in the game, but who is going to win the game? Sebastian Vettel coming towards the line now. Can he snatch pole to at least give Ferrari a high? No, he's only on the front row. Missed it by nine one hundredths. Valtteri Bottas, fourth fastest. Lewis Hamilton is going to be on pole. Is Oh no, Bottas goes quicker by two tenths and Hamilton misses out by five one hundredths of a second. Valtteri Bottas has claimed pole. It is an all Mercedes front row and a time of 140.4 for Valtteri Bottas is an absolute lap record. So Valtteri, that's full position. <laughs> yes. Great job with it all on that final lap.